Shabbat Shalom. Before we begin, uh, just please be aware of where your nearest emergency exit is. There's one to my left, your right, and one to my right, your left, for you to use uh, should you need it. We are going to begin, and you should know that tonight, I know, is a very heavy night with what we perceive to understand that the world is changing uh, through our Supreme Court. And what does that mean for our grandchildren, our daughters, our sons, our family, ourselves? There's a lot of unanswered questions. And we will only through time find the space and through the lens of Judaism try to understand that which is most difficult. And so I sit here and pray with you tonight uh, as we all need real shalom. Now, I could say that uh, it's a downer, but Shabbat is an upper? That doesn't sound quite right. <laughs> Shabbat is a time to uh, pause that which might plague us so we can celebrate the holiest day of the year. Shabbat is that holiest day of the year. As we gather with friends and family to eat, to nosh, to celebrate a day of rest, Shabbos. But I'm also very excited because we have, I have a new friend who's coming to share with us about her work in the ADL. On the count of three, let's all say together what we think those three letters represent. There's a lot, I said one, two, three. And you're already, you're already going before one, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. The anti-defamation. Thank God, you know what it is. So we're going to hear from Sarah today, who's going to uh, inform us and fill us with important knowledge about the holy work that ADL is doing in our community. And with that, let us transcend this moment to a holy, profound moment by welcoming in the Shekhinah, uh, as we celebrate Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. We have Stefan Zeichner on violin with us tonight, and he's going to start us off. Go for it.
we get to welcome our Sabbath bride by lighting and blessing these candles. If you are at home, please feel free to light with us as we join together in communities all over the world to bring in our Shabbat. I'd like to invite up Barbara Bolbin and Myra Locke on page 120. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu L'had Likner Shel Shabbat Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kitshanu The side comments while lighting the Shabbat candles. Thank you for brightening my Shabbat. Thank you, thank you. We join together with the words of Shalom Alechem on page 142. for the Chatzik Kaddish on page 263. Amen. Amen. Oh, 
Please be seated. We continue with the Vea Hafta on page 268. <laughs> Vishen and Tom never never had a bad bam. Vishiv te have a bait ha ha, or left a have a day. O shock be ha ha, o kume ha. Ukshar tam le oot, ayadaha. Be ha you little tafot, baby neha. Uktaf tam. A Mrs. Odd Beta, Uvi Shareha, Lemantis Caro, Vasitem, et Comitrotai, Vitem Kroshim, Lenohem, Ani Adonai, Lenohem, Ashehote, Tietem, Meret Smithaim, Lehiot Lahem, Lenohim. Ani Adonai Elohechem. Adonai Elohechem Emet. Our Micha Mocha is our celebration of our freedom, something that we should always pursue, always look at and adjust, not only for us as B'nai Yisrael, but for all people. And so we say these words as a reminder to continue to be a partner with Adonai in creation of a world, a more just world, 
that is that allows that is truly free that each person gets to practice and pray and create the relationship with their divine as is needed and so we say these words of Micha Mocha page 270 Waiting to clap, now's the time. that called when you do that little riff on the uh, on the when he played violin. by himself or yeah, when yeah. he goes chicka 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 yeah yeah what do you call that do it again that one or the tremolo that goes no, 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 I, do the other one I do think the he other wants one a tremolo yeah we need more of that <laughs> I don't know I don't know what that does but it does what it should do and I like it I very it's, Can we I talk about his solo? Because his solo was really good. Oh, also. <laughs> I liked all three of them. Uh, it's incredible. Um, we continue with our Amida on page 273. Our Amida that calls us to pray, to use our lips, our mouth, to call out to God. We rise as a community as we speak these truths that have been passed down from generation to generation to help us connect on this day of Shabbat. <laughs> Shuvah, the name of 
Please be seated. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may we all live in such a way that this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat. We should never take for granted all of the greatness that exists in this world that we ourselves create or experience. A year ago to the date, 98 souls were taken in the middle of the night when the Champlain Tower came crashing down. Our Jewish community felt that wake between each one of us. I bet we knew someone or had a friend who knew someone, or maybe even our own loved one, was in that tower. That heartache is only a year old. So we take time on this Shabbat and every day to say thank you to our Creator and to our loved ones for the opportunity to connect yet again one more day to hold the hand of a sweet child to celebrate Shabbat with our closest friends, to just be able to embrace 98 souls, their families, their grandchildren, their children were gone. So we thank God for our blessings and recognize how important it is to help create blessings for others. Baruch Ata Adonai HaTov Shimcha Ulcha Na'e Lehodot. God, you are truly worthy of our blessings and goodness. You are worthy of thanksgiving, as we say. Amen. Shalom Rav, our prayer for peace. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of our world. Plant virtue in every soul and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. We say these words, Shalom Rav, on page 282. Thank you. 
poem before we enter into our own silent prayer from Richard J. Foster. The book is called Prayers from the Heart. And this poem is called A Simple Prayer. I am, O God, a jumbled mass of motives. One moment I'm adoring you and the next I'm shaking my fist at you. I go between mounting hope and deepening despair. I am full of faith and full of doubt. I want the best for others and I am, and am jealous when they get it. Even so, God, I will not run from your presence, nor will I pretend to be what I am not. So thank you, God, for accepting me with all my contradictions. We take a moment to reflect and pray silently. We take a moment to 
think of our loved ones who are in need of healing of prayers, uh, who are in need of healing of our prayers, who might sit by the bedside of a loved one, a spouse, a friend, a child, and care for them as they themselves are sick and in need of love. And so this prayer should remind us to reach out, to extend our hand and fulfill that mitzvah of bikur cholim, of caring for the sick. And on this Shabbat, we send prayers to Mary Arnold, Hope Ellen Collar, Yafat Bat Yoram, Judy Brown, Darren Williams, Barry Gilman, Mauricio Lara, Sharon and Paul Weiner, Bennett Greenberg, Ronald Horwich, Alice Horwich, Isabella de la Josue, Marty Gitlitz, Natalie Keegan, Dorita Levenstein, Yoli Marlowe, Mariana Green, Greg Miller, Sergio Zelker, Ross Lipton, Stephen Carlin, Jessica Hunter, Eliza Pelia, Bat Abraham Besara, Yale David, Marsha Kropf, Karina Kasanas, Kyle Gittleman, Brenda Tucci, Carol Shulkin, Steve Hertz, Shirley Harris, Rini Feingold, Mark Kaplan, Steve Winkler, Diane Arnkoff, Ileana Miriam Bat Chava, Joe Botkin, Yael Bat Lea, Jenny Wasserstrom, Jeff Clark, Noah Schwartz, Josh Schneider, Sandy Kramer, Nancy Pastroff, Josh Rosen, Erwin Fetter, Hazel Bernstein, Elaine Ben David, Eileen Danheiser, Barbara Dorman, Jesse Friedman, Patty Campo, Heschel Beth, Ben Mindel, Orlando Cattano, Ellen Leesfield, Hilda Kane, Diana Maria Lane, Michael Leb, Valentina Lechvetsky, Hannah Batavora, Boaz Ashbel, Harvey Ezrell, Marilyn Tupler, Irina Dimitriescu, Joyce Shapiro, Charlotte Brody, Roberto Lowenstein, Barbara Levin, Clementina Dimitriescu, Robin Dennison, Rachel Lea Bat Miriam, Digna Plasket, Sophia Sabilo, Melissa Wessels, Mel Cornfield, Mary Cornfeld, Henry Ford, Steve Van Weingar Weingrad, Mayir Shapiro, Hudson Adder, and Tim Dor. If there are other names you'd like to add to our community's Misha Berach list, please rise as I come around the room. Please say their name, and you can certainly add your loved ones' names to our chat.
May God swiftly send to all of our loved ones complete renewal of body and spirit. And let us all say, Amen. How many of you, and be honest, remember my Rosh Hashanah sermon eight years ago? The what? No, no. Yeah, everybody remembers when I didn't show up for Yom Kippur because I had a, um, a thing, appendicitis, uh, but no one remembers what I said. That's very, very honest, and I appreciate that. Uh, well, what you would have heard was how ADL, the Anti-Defamation League, was the, um, the starter, was the, um, was the ignition that I needed to pave the way for me to become a rabbi. No ADL, no Rabbi Fish. That's a true story. Um, but now that I know none of you remember it, maybe my Rosh Hashanah sermon could be the same one. Because no one would know the difference. Just, just thinking about it. Well, I'd like to invite up a friend from the ADL. Sarah Emmons is the Anti-Defamation League Florida Regional Director. In this capacity, she leads Florida's anti-hate efforts, which include responding to anti-Semitic and hateful incidences, delivering anti-bias programming in schools, college, and workplaces, as well as leading advocacy efforts that protect marginalized communities. She is a huge friend for our South Florida community that represents our collective message and value and presence. Now, that's all well and said, but she took me through some of the cutest baby photos of her five-month-old, and I think we could just spend probably an hour looking at those. Uh, so it is with great pleasure that I get to invite up to share uh, our words for this Shabbat, Sarah Emmons from the ADL. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Thank you, Rabbi Fish, Rabbi Siegel, Sharon, for inviting me to speak here this evening. I am honored to stand here this Shabbat as a representative of the Anti-Defamation League, or ADL, an organization that for over 109 years has stood up to bigotry, hatred, and anti-Semitism. I'm also honored to be here tonight as I believe one of the newest members of Temple Judea with my family. My husband Jeremy and baby Lily couldn't be here tonight. She has her first daycare bug, um, but I know that they're both looking forward to joining services with me soon. Tonight I'd like to speak to an area of expertise at ADL, that is extremism and how extremist individuals and groups act upon their hatred to cause harm across communities. It's a somewhat depressing topic, but at the end, I hope to bring some optimism and some action steps we can all take. If you remember one thing from my remarks tonight, I hope you'll remember this. Racism, homophobia, anti-Semitism, sexism, these are all weeds that spring from the same poisoned soil. And thus, our efforts must not only be focused on combating anti-Semitism, but rather on building a safe community for all of us. ADL's integrated mission is to stop the defamation of the Jewish people and to secure justice and fair treatment for all people. The mission is largely based on the vision of Rabbi Hillel and Perke Avot. If I am not for myself, then who will be for me? And when I am only for myself, what am I? And if not now, when? There is no doubt that anti-Semitism is dramatically increasing nationwide and here in Florida. Each year since 1979, it's four decades, ADL has conducted an audit of anti-Semitic incidents. This past April, we released our 2021 numbers, which showed an all-time high with over 2,700 anti-Semitic incidents nationally. That was a 34% increase from the previous year. Here in Florida, the story is even worse. 
we saw a 50% increase in anti-Semitic incidents from 127 to 190. Unfortunately, those who espouse anti-Semitism do not only target the Jewish community. They tend to hate other minorities as well. And those who hate minorities tend to hate Jews. I have three examples to share of how hateful groups combine anti-Semitism and other forms of bias. Then I'll share about how these groups are organized and funded and what ADL and all of us can do to fight back. First example, in Jacksonville just this past week, extremist neo-Nazis protest, protested outside an LGBTQ restaurant called Hamburger Mary's with signs that were both horrifically homophobic and anti-Semitic. Another well-known example. In Charlottesville, men with torches claimed to be rallying to preserve Southern heritage and soon were shouting Nazi-era Nazi slogans like, Jews will not replace us. And lastly, I referenced the recent deadly shooting in Buffalo, New York. The shooter in his manifesto espoused the great replacement theory a conspiracy theory which blames the Jewish people for immigration and thus the replacement of the white race. Here, we see how the conflation of anti-Semitism and racism led to a devastating outcome. These examples all remind us how critical it is for communities to work in coalition with others to fight in hatred. And to do that, we need to better understand the extremist ideologies and groups that are perpetuating this hate. ADL's 2021 audit findings showed an increase in anti-Semitic incidents tied to extremism specifically. In 2020, 17% of the incidents were tied to extremism. This past year, that number jumped to 31%. We have a few extremist groups that are particularly active locally here in Florida and drove this increase in incidents. The Goyam Defense League, or the GDL, is one. You may have seen on the news, or potentially heard from friends, about anti-Semitic flyers that have been distributed statewide by this group, saying things such as, every single aspect of the media is Jewish, or every single aspect of the COVID agenda is Jewish. You may be wondering who these groups are. How do they organize? How are they funded? ADL's research into extremism has found that these groups organize online. Nowadays, anyone with a cell phone and access to social media can be exposed to anti-Semitic and extremist bigotry. Sometimes this online messaging drives individuals to violent action. Dylan Roof, the young man who murdered nine people at a church in Charleston, South Carolina, appears to have been indoctrinated online. The Poway shooter shared his manifesto and was active on social media, a site called 8chan. Live streaming is one way that extremist groups gain followers and raise funds. The Goyam Defense League, the GDL, the group I mentioned that is very active in Florida, is a loose network of individuals who harass Jews and other minorities, streaming from their platform, which is called Goyam TV. The underlying message, donate to hate. GDL live streams demonstrations they hold as part of their hateful tours and uses the monetization app Entropy. They also sell anti-Semitic merchandise. ADL's Center on Extremism has been tracking GDL and groups like it for years. COE tracks the ways that extremists use to leverage technology to reach, recruit, and radicalize. And as we uncover these techniques, we advocate for methods to push back, to interrupt, to stop their ability to spread anti-Semitism and bigotry. An important part of our work at ADL is ensuring that law enforcement agencies and personnel at the local, state, and federal levels understand the threats to vulnerable populations. So in 2021 alone, our Center on Extremism provided law enforcement with critical intelligence about extremism over 1,300 times, including right here in our South Florida community. The rise of extremist groups is incredibly concerning and necessitates that all of us in the Jewish community and beyond take action to fight against hate. So how are we gonna reverse these tides, all of us? Despite the hatred we see in our community, I'm so hopeful for the future, 
Given what I know is a tide of love and compassion that stems from people like you all, here in person and online. I have three asks of all of you in our fight against hate. The first, we must have an accurate understanding of the level and nature of anti-Semitic incidents. ADL's data is only as good as your reporting. If you are the victim of a bias-motivated incident, your first call should always be to law enforcement. Your second call should be to ADL. Your data helps us track trends and find solutions. Second, please always address bigotry when you see it online. If hateful individuals can use the internet and social media to promote hate, we can use our voices strongly to report and expose that hate. In order for social media and tech companies to take decisive action, we, all of us, have to flag and report the hate we see online. That's the second. Third, we must be allies to other communities affected by hate. We must not compartmentalize our compassion. The Jewish community knows all too well the impact of isolation in the aftermath of hate. When you hear of a mosque being vandalized in here in South Florida, reach out to show your support. When laws are passed discriminating against the LGBTQ plus community, ask them how you can best advocate for equality. And as we all heard today about the Supreme Court's decision on Roe versus Wade, I encourage you all, as I will, to be finding opportunities to support women and reproductive rights. In closing, the moral compasses of so many people have stopped functioning. It is up to us to get fired up. We must not be observers in our community's destruction. On this Shabbat, I am asking you to make that commitment to yourself, your family, in our com and our community. I look forward to getting to know you all and the Temple Judea community, both here at services and Sharon promises me that Bagels and Blocks is coming back. So for those of you with kids, I hope to see you there. If I or ADL can ever be of support to you or your families, please never hesitate to reach out. Call me, text, email anytime. Thank you and Shabbat Shalom. You, uh, <clears throat> you ever been in that moment where the gym, the gym teacher picks you first for dodgeball and you get to pick the next person that ever happened to you? Never happened to me, but I can imagine that if I got to pick somebody for dodgeball who could lead our team into new heights, new places, Sarah, I would pick you and then Abby. I, you're, you'd be top two, babe. Top two. Uh, thank you, Sarah, for, for shedding light on a subject that we need to be constantly reminded about, uh, that if we're going to be partners, uh, we need to follow your steps and comment, flag, tag, report, uh, be reporters ourselves. Um, thank you very, very much. Uh, Sarah, and I think I can collectively say on behalf of everybody, we cannot wait to see Lily grow up here and run among these pews uh, as she enjoys the joy of, of Shabbat here at Temple Judea. And with that, I'd like to invite up Gail Newman to share some words and announcements on this Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. I am Gail Newman, a past president of Temple Judea, and I would like to thank Barbara Bulbin and Myra Locke for lighting the Shabbat candles, and to Cynthia and Andy Varick, who will be doing the Kiddush and Motzi blessings tonight. And a thank you to our guest speaker, Sarah Emmons, a new member of Temple Judea, the anti Defamation League's Florida Regional Director. For more information about ADL, please go to adl.org.
We have so many exciting events ahead. Please check your email and our temple website for details. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Gail. Thank you. We continue with our service by rising as we open the ark. I want to just give you that statement I gave last week, which is we only currently have one Torah in the ark as we still navigate uh, what could possibly be a, a, a leaky issue. Uh, so we take the Torah, we take it away, and then we put it back for Shabbat services. So please rise, you'll only see one Torah. And if I could have anybody under the age of any young individuals who would like to come and open the ark, Miles, if you want to join, Ayla, Yael, if you'd like to join, please rise on page 586. As I mentioned before, we remember those at Surfside. Rabbi Siegel and I were called as clergy of all faiths gathered that location to try to barely bring comfort to the chaos that was unfolding. We remember that moment a year ago as we remember all of our loved ones who have passed. We remember the yard sites of Michael Kurtz, Stephen Chernock, Charles Cutler, Henry Dames, Sonia Ehrenreich, Irving Eisen, Mary Emden, Martin Freed, Mildred Friedman, Sidney Gardner, Vera Goldenkoff, Francis Horlick, Elsie Calstone, Morris Kaplan, Shiva Kemp, Mel Melvin Lane, Harvey Lane, Carol Magidson, Vivian Machaber, Jose Mahafra, Samuel Ruskin, Daniel D. Schwartz, Mary Shapiro, Bertha Glassman, Morris Grossman, and Vera Goldenkoff. Remember those who have passed away within this year. Esther Batlea, Sandy Fisher, 
Anthony Carmona, Michael Tobin, Robert Siegel, Dr. Stanley Jacobs, Rosalind Winter, Murray Diamond, Fred Chekinow, David Dollinger, Robert Joseph Mezzi, Sue Katz, Natalie Ginsburg, Michael Stokes, Dr. Will Blackman, Marsha Coven, Sheila Resnick, Susan Crow, Mimi Weinfeld, Fern Wayne, Stan Sterling, Shani Levin, Carol Ella Shapiro, Sonia Sokol Greenberg, Jane Wasserman, Dr. Paul A. Gutlon, Leonard J. A Adrian, Zelda Zalas, Elaine Noble, Ulysses Maciel de Oliveira Neto, Kelly Henley, Lillian Hilbert, Marilyn Kaplan, Judge Marvin Gilman, Stephanie Altman, Greta Schulich, Shirley Spiegelman, Ethel Marion Crane, Vivian Whitkoff, Jack Blumenfeld, Irene Shore, and Dottie Fish. If you are in a period of Shiva, the first seven days, please rise. If it's within the first 30 days, Shloshim, please rise. If it's within the first year, Shana, please rise. If this Shabbat marks a yard site, a family member, close friend, please rise. We rise as a Kehila Kedoshah, as a holy community. We rise in memory of all those who perished, who died in the Shoah. We stand in honor of all of the soldiers here in America and in Israel who fought for our freedoms in both of our lands and who live no more. As we say these words on page 598, the words of Kaddish Yatom. Yit kadal vi yit kadash shamei rabba, amen. Be'alma divra chirute ve'al mich malchute. Be'chayachon uv'yomechon uv'chayei de'chol beit Yisrael. Ba'agala uv'izman kari ve'imru, amen. Yehei shmei rabba mevarach le'olam ul'al mei almaya. Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnaseh. V'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shamei d'kudusha barichu. Leola minko birchata veshirata, tush bechata venechamata, damiran beama veimru. Amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya vechayim alenu vea kol Yisrael veimru. Amen. O se shalom bimromav, uya ase shalom alenu vea kol Yisrael veimru. Amen. The message of this Shabbat, as we exit Parshat Shalach with the spies and enter into Korach, where we see this rebellion, is that we must always use our voice to lift up 
to correct, to challenge, and to be authentically Jewish. We begin our Amidah with, may these words that I speak, our voice, is our greatest gift. And just as our newest member of Temple Judea, so beautifully illustrated, if we are not using that voice to correct, to change, to alter, what are we doing? We are going to do, this is great, we're going to do Kiddush, we're going to do Hamotzi, and then Stefan is going to do the did 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 while we eat <laughs> for the next two hours because we just want to get more of the did 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 So with that, I'd like to bring up Cynthia and Andy. There, this is so great. Shabbat Shalom. Take us away with the with the kiddush and hamotzi. You take off the mask. Sixty-five years. You know what you get. Look at this, a gift. This is what you gift. It's a, it's a, um, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a towel, a tea towel for tea time. It's a gift. All right, let's lead us in, lead us in Kiddush. Eloheinu melech haolam, borei pari ha-gavin. Amen. Baruch atad anai, Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher kiddush alma mitzvot ha-ofer ha-tzavanu Beshabbat ha-tzov ve'ahava u-ratzon Inhilanu Zikaron ha-maseh v'reishit Ki hu yom t'yera l'amitka e-kodesh Zikher ritzia mitzrayim Kivano vachata, etanu kedashta, mikomi, vishabat kocheha, peahava uvratson, in haltanu, baruchata adonai, mikatesh. I didn't realize you didn't have a microphone. Do you want to do it again with the microphone? No, no, we're good. Okay. So in that case, go ahead, Lachaim, Lachaim, and now we get to do the Hamotzi. What could it be? Two rooms. Ready? Baruch Atadonai, Eloheinu Melech Alam, Hamotzi Lecha Min Amen. Shabbat Shalom. There is a great onik for you in the Grossman room. Sarah's going to be there for funsies and conversation. Join us, Grossman room, onik. Shabbat Shalom. Steph.